you keep getting error message when trying to submit a video selfie verification for a hacked Instagram account, this is the video for you. In today's video, I am going to be showing you all the top tips, tricks, techniques, methods, everything that I have found that has worked for other people in order to get rid of this error and submit this selfie verification to Instagram so they can get their account back. By the way, if you like this content, my name is Roisin. I would really, really appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe because it not only helps me and my YouTube channel, but it also helps the thousands of millions of other people who are struggling with hacked social media accounts, especially Instagram. But I know you guys came here for help, so let's get straight into these tips. Okay, so the first tip, we're gonna change our selfie video settings. We want to make sure that the file that we send to Instagram is as small as possible. So on an iPhone, what you're going to do is you're going to open your camera. And on the top right, when you go to your video, you're going to see either 4K, HD. Basically, the 4K and the HD is just the type of resolution. Usually, 4K is the better option over HD. It's way more detailed and contains a lot more pixels. So the video that you're shooting is way clearer. But when it comes to submitting this selfie video, we want to make sure that the resolution is lower and the pixels are lower. So the video size is lower. So when you change to HD, also make sure that the frames per second, that number next to the HD is 30. To do this on an Android, you're pretty much can do the same steps as on the iPhone. You're gonna open your video app, you're gonna go into video, and then you are going to swipe, do that like swipe motion from top to bottom. And then it's gonna say resolution and then frames per second below it. Hopefully if we're looking at the same Android, and then you're gonna make sure it once again says HD, not 4K and 30 frames per second. Okay, so after that, we're gonna clear our cache. If you don't know what cache is, a cache is basically, you probably have seen this term before or someone has probably recommended you to clear your cache before when your app or a website has been acting up. Basically, cache is information that is stored by an application. So usually when you have cache, it actually helps apps because it helps to save information about you and about the app. So when you reinstall the app, it actually speeds it up because it has all this saved information that helps it to restart quicker because it already knows what the heck is going on. But in this case, we're gonna delete our cache because it can actually sometimes slow things down and mess things up. On an iPhone, the easiest way to delete your cache is to delete your app and reinstall it. This is actually a good thing because the next step is making sure that our Instagram app is as up to date as possible, the latest version of Instagram. So if you delete your Instagram and then reinstall it, this is ensuring that the latest up to date version of Instagram is installed. On Android, to clear your Instagram cache, you are going to go into your settings and then you're going to tap apps and then you're going to scroll through your list of installed apps until you see Instagram. And then on Instagram's app page, you're gonna click storage and then click the clear cache button. After our cache is all gone, we are going to next, of course, make sure once again that our app is updated. Go into your app store, go to the updates button and make sure their Instagram is all up to date. And then we're gonna make sure that our internet connection is working. If you're on Wi-Fi and you're getting an error submitting your video, change to data. Or if you're on data, receiving the error change to Wi-Fi. Keep trying to figure out whether it's your internet connection because there is a strong possibility that it probably is your internet connection. You know, do a speed test on your iPhone as well. There's like these websites where you can click like Wi-Fi test, but it'll do a free Wi-Fi test for you to determine how fast your Wi-Fi is. So next, this tip I have seen has to do with taking the actual video. This tip goes back to an earlier point I made where we're going to try to get this video size as small as possible. In order to do that, we need to make sure that the video is as quick as possible. So I'm going to take a few steps back and I'm actually going to walk you through how to get to this verification step when you actually submit a video just in case, I don't know, you forgot or something's going on. Because I'm recording on my iPhone, I can't show you live, but I'm going to insert a video somewhere over here. Okay, so we're going to go on to the Instagram app and in this section where it says phone number, username, or email, you're going to type in the current username of your Instagram account. 
and then I'm gonna click forgot password. Okay, so now it's on this page where it says if you enter your username or your email, they'll send you a link to get back into your account. Well, if the hacker changed the email or the phone number onto your account, this no longer helps. So we're going to click can't reset your password because obviously if you type next, they're gonna send an email to the hacker's email. So that won't be any help at all. So click can't reset your password. So in this page, it's gonna ask you to confirm your identity either using your phone number or your email. Well, if the hacker changed the phone number email on your account, this doesn't help at all. All you're gonna do is click try another way. Here, Instagram is gonna ask, why can't you get into your Instagram account? Click my account was hacked. And then it's gonna ask you, do you have proof of yourself in your account? For this, always press yes. So now it's gonna ask you for the best email to reach you by. So enter a current email that you know that you can access. So I'm just gonna type in my personal one. Then Instagram is gonna send a six digit code to that email. Now, just a little side note, it might take a minute or so. It's not always immediate. So I just got the email. It says someone tried to log into your Instagram account and it's gonna give me this six digit code. So I'm gonna copy this code, go back to the Instagram app and type it in here and press confirm. Now once that happens, it's gonna ask you for this video selfie thing. Okay, so at the video portion, this is where you need to pay attention. When you're doing the motion of up to the right, I think, or left or side to side down, make sure it's as swift and quick as possible. You know, don't hang out too long in this video. Also, when you are moving your face up, down, everywhere, make sure you're doing full motions. So as you can see, you can clearly see, I would probably put my hair back like this. I'm doing full motion so you can clearly see what my face looks like and that I match the person who was on my Instagram account. I've mentioned this in a past video, but make sure your lighting is good. You know, you look like yourself. Don't wear a hat. You know, don't wear sunglasses. Make sure that you look like the person on your Instagram Instagram feed. Okay, so after you submit the video, hopefully, fingers crossed, Instagram comes back to you within a day or who knows how long sometimes they get back to you. They could get back to you in 30 minutes, a day, three hours, you really don't know. But when they do get back to you, hopefully it is a yes. If it's not a yes, do not worry, just keep going. I have read countless stories of people getting rejected five, six, seven times, and then miraculously on the eighth time they get accepted. So hopefully by using these tips, number one, you don't get an error anymore, so you can actually submit your video. And number two, you're able to pass it. Okay, so you do pass it, yay. This is literally the best thing that could happen to you right now. But but you are still not done with this process. Just because you got into your account doesn't mean the hacker can't bump you right back out. So this is probably the most important step. Once Instagram verifies you successfully, you are going to receive an email. Okay, so you're gonna open this email on your laptop and you are going to click the reset password link. Then you are going to put in your new password. Now you're gonna to go to the login to existing account page with your username and your new password. Now you're gonna be faced with a prompt that asks you to put in a six digit code from the Authenticator app. Instead of this, you are gonna click try another way and then you're gonna click the backup codes link and then enter the eight digit code that was included in your email. Now you are back in your account. Okay, we are going to set up two-factor authentication. Basically, it's gonna ensure that the hacker's email and phone and whatever other information they put into your account is bumped out. Because usually what hackers do is as soon as they hack your account and get in, they change your two-factor authentication. So any login codes or any information that Instagram is trying to send to you to get you back into your account is going to the hacker. So it's really important that we change your two-factor authentication as soon as we get back into our account. Okay, to get to two-factor authentication, you're gonna go in your profile and you're gonna click the three lines on the top right. And then you're gonna click settings and privacy. And then you're gonna click on profiles, two-factor authentication, and then select your Instagram account. And I would put your email back in there, a safe one, make sure the hacker is not also in that email. So make sure it's a brand new one or it is a one that you know for sure the hacker 
has not been able to gain access to and put in a safe phone number. Okay, guys, those are all the tips I have for you. I think that this process of recovering your account using this video selfie is done through an AI program. And as we all know, AI is the hot topic nowadays. And it definitely has, you know, its downsides and it is not always accurate. But I would continue to keep going because you never know when there is a real actual person looking at your video selfie who could be like, okay, yes, this this person obviously matches the person on their Instagram page, but please, for the sake of your Instagram account, please keep going. I know how frustrating and disappointing and oh my God, how awful this process can be, but I am so glad to be back making these cybersecurity videos. I really missed helping you guys, but if you have any questions, please make sure to leave them down below. You can also message me on Instagram, but as a FYI, these videos are for educational and entertainment purposes only. So I would much rather you leave your questions down below. They're a lot easier for me to get to. And if I can't get to them, someone else can as well. Alrighty, guys, I hope you all stay super safe, super healthy. You get back into your account and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.